Again, I want to shoot content like this week. This week, if we can. This is a dog. Good girl. Good girl. <laughs> It's cool, it's cool, it's cool. Nobody ran me or nothing. Crazy, I'm cool. You look you look like you're serious. You really think dinosaurs existed? I, I don't know why fat is always cute. Look at your nose, look at your snout. I wonder what it'd be like to shed, bro. <laughs> what? Yes! <laughs> you split super thing. Bro, just like, like, look at that. <laughs> up with. That's his dog on his whole stomach up to his throat. You guys know who Marlon is. You guys know who the Hulk is. Look at this tattoo. One of the hardest tattoos in the game. What's up, dog? What's up? That's brotherhood right there. Like I told you guys, there's probably about two or three men on this planet that can come here and take my animals out and do what they want. I have uh, a lot of senseis and teachers. Marlon's one of them. My female raven came from his stock. He blessed me, he gave me a gift, gave it to me for free. And now we have a whole litter, we kept the whole litter, and Marlon's gonna come uh, educate us, coach me on dogs. You're nothing but a student to the game. Marlon's a sensei, he's a teacher, and uh, He's gonna, he's, gonna, he's gonna direct us today for the show. <laughs> Sharing is caring, bro. Knowledge is power. Health is wealth. You know what I'm saying? You already know that, that muscle. <laughs> How many dogs you got, like? 50, like 60? 60, 65. See, I give you the exclusive answer. See, I got about 65 dogs. Anytime anybody asks me that most of the time, I say more than one. More than one. <laughs> people, people ask you, how many animals do you have? I don't have animals, they have me. Oh, what's up, dad champ? What's up, good boy? There you go, friends. I brought friends over. What's up? <laughs> Hanging out with Dad. Gang out with this, 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 this is the second, second litter. Accident litter. Yeah, those, those happen too. Yeah. Happen. It yeah. happens, bro. Happen What's up? Too. What's up? Gang. Two boys. My thickies. That's your girl. Shut there, Mom. Shut there, Mom. <laughs> Mama. You got you got grandkids hanging out where you was at now. <laughs> they little psychos. Your brother had kids too. Raven was a nutcase when she was a little pup, just like her brother. Like they were wild, man. They, they were they were wild little puppies from from the beginning. I knew that because he when when I talked to him, you know, I want to know what type of dog that he wanted. You know what I mean? So I was like, you know, if you wanted a bigger dog, like a bulky type dog, or if you want like an athletic type of you know medium sized dog, and that's what he said that he wanted. And then she was just like prime. You know what I mean? She was perfect. You know, my wife loved her. She really didn't want to get rid of her, but I was just like, listen, this is my guy. You know what I mean? We're just we're just gonna do it. The athleticism of the dog is unreal. So I mean they're they're siblings, you know what I mean? So it's just it's gonna go through and through. You know what I mean? It's gonna go through and through, you know, and then you got Pops who, you know what I mean, he looks great, great, you know, great muscle structure, take great care of him. So, you know, all of that is gonna is gonna play into the factor of the puppies, you know what I mean? People come here and say, Oh my god, Shuggy's big, he's muscular. That's a, that's a puppy compared <laughs> to the animals, this guy. He has straight gorillas, you know what I'm saying? As dogs. You gotta come out and see him, bro. They're, they're monsters. You gotta come out there and see him, bro. He's a killer, bro. Can't wait, dog. Definitely wait. gonna happen. Come on, kiddos, let's go! So her right off the bat, uh-huh. When she comes out and she touches you like that without uh -huh. you letting go out. Hey. No, you know because it, if a dog touches you without your permission, permission, mm -hmm. she disrespects you. Right? <clears throat> as soon as you get permission, all good. Now, you know that's what people tell you about the bed. Because you dogs can sleep in your bed all day if you want, but it's the fact that they can't just claim the bed as their own whenever they want. They really will take the energy of, of their owner, and obviously, you know, mice got you know great energy, man. Just balance, you know, uh, you know, powerful energy at the same time. So. You know, he's already on the track, man, you know what I mean? He really don't need me for much, you know what I mean? I just point a couple things out, you know, make him aware of a couple things. And, I mean, look what this guy doing, man. He got this under control, you know what I mean? It's like, it's the, those that, are, that have the natural gift for it and the, and the natural vision for it are the ones that are just going to be successful with it, you know what I mean? Because, but dogs, there's no secrets, man. It's just about leadership. It's just about leadership and consistency. That's what it's all about. Because everything is body language. Everything's body language when it comes to the dog. Now, that's the whole thing. These dogs are definitely not for everybody. You know what I mean? It takes a certain type of a person to really kind of lead, you know, with these dogs. And from what I, from what I know about this guy, he's got that. This is a dog. Look at your feet. That's a dog right there. Oh, that's healthy. 
He looks real healthy. Long time, boy. I feel so cool. It's cool, bro. I'm cool. I'm cool. With you. You got full on support in the bottom. Yeah, something good. Come on, there you go, buddy. Here you go, homie. I got you. Oh, well, I don't let nothing happen to you, bro. Brothers from other mothers, bro. You know what I'm saying? If you his kids, then like, you know, that's my brother. What's his name? Titong. Titong. Bro, you're a legend. You're a legend, bro. You look like a dinosaur. You look like a dinosaur. Bro, let me ask you a question. Do you really think dinosaurs existed? For sure. Really? Absolutely. You think? Yeah. I mean, you gotta think how big Earth is, yeah. how long it's been on Earth. You look at what's left of reptilian yeah. species, you know, and the, the variety and the variations of crocodiles to rhino iguanas to salamanders. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Now, I don't believe the pictures that people depict them to be. Yeah, yeah that's what I I'm don't think anybody has can give a real understanding of a physical characteristic of what dinosaurs look like but i do believe 100 percent there's dinosaurs for yeah i could be with you i could be with you on that i for me it's so hard when people are talking about like 400 just, million it's, years yeah, it's like it's the, you it's, can't tell me what happened a thousand date. years ago it's let the alone dates that I mean? me up it's the you know? <laughs> pictures they draw you know that's what i don't like gotta get doctored up champ you got some on your jowls over here that's all you good you good bro you good? He's like, yo, 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 yo
You know, dogs, they want to know what to do and when to do it. You know what I mean? That's what they want, right? Like they like structure. That's why they're inside a pack. You know, that's why they want to move where he moves. They want to go where he goes. They don't really want to be individual. Oh, what's this? Come on. Good girl. Get in there, little guy, or what? Good girl. That is good girl. That's my good girl. Yay. Um, this is actually the first time Puma jumped out in the, in the pond over here to swim. She jumps in the pool every now and then, but she's always back and forth on whether she wants to get in. So today she felt some confidence to jump in, so it's a great day. Good job, baby girl. Good job, Puma. Yay. I'm so proud of you. Come on. This is mine now. Go get it. Yeah, see, that's what it's all about. That's mine now, see? He's got it. I mean, that's the whole thing. Now, they play with it, but it's yours. And, and that's, how, that's how it always is. You know? You claim everything. You want this? You want it? You want it? Go get it. Won't play tug of war with them besides Raven. Raven will get in and he'll always give it to her. Yeah. Anybody else that ties it, he's just not letting that shit go. That's a wife. Bro. Yeah, he, he, let, he lets wifey like yeah. do whatever she wants. Happy wife, happy life. And like he'll play with some of the dogs, just like let them do whatever they want. Get all his mouth, lick all of them, smother them. He'll actually play with them. They're just, you know, kind of lightly grab each other's neck and play around. What they have they, such respect for each other. They started together, you know what I mean? Yeah. So it's, the dynamic is, is there between them. And you know, look at they, they burst the... They burst, they burst it's all their kids. The, yeah. The whole dynasty out here, you know what I mean? Not even no camera shit, dude. I thank you so much for blessing me with this girl, man. Oh, she bro, just love, bro. changed my life completely, dog. Oh, I, lo I lost one of my boys last year, and I was like, damn, bro, I was so hurt, so depressed. You know, it was one of the, probably the darkest times in my life because I, I knew I could have saved them. You know, when I was on a, I was on a plane heading somewhere and I had a layover, I woke up from the layover, I got a call like, yo, your, your, your boy's on, on the way to the hospital. I'm like, what the fuck happened? Is he all right? And it's like, we didn't make it. And it shit, like my heart just literally ripped out of my chest. You know? I know that feeling all too well, bro. Like, I mean, I lost my, my, you know, my, what I would say probably my, you know, top dog in, in, in you know, a tragic situation that, I mean, to me, how deep it feels to me is that, I mean, you know, I've, 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 I've seen success in my life. I've, I've, I've made millions of dollars. And honestly, it, it never feels like I can win because of that. It always feels like I'm, it's always an L in life. Yeah. Cause I can never change that. No matter what happens, no matter how how much money you get, you can never change. You can never bring these things back. And you know, to me, from the base, like you know, I just care so much about you know my dog that it's everything to me. Some some people don't understand, and I, I know you understand. You know what I mean? But it's yeah. like it's everything to me, man. It's why you know I feel like why I got the life that I got is is, is karma, man. I got blessed through karma that you know uh, you know because when I told the story of being homeless, you know what I mean? It's like I wasn't homeless because I didn't have money. I was homeless because. You know, I had five, six dogs, and, and you know, every, to everybody else, it was like, oh, just get rid of the dogs. Yeah. Just get rid of the dogs. Oh, they're just dogs. To me, it wasn't like that. It was as simple as once I made that commitment to them. Yep. So that was long. real to me. That mm -hmm. was lifelong. So, you know, I'm going to stick to that no matter what. So I'd have rather been homeless and live nowhere than not have them. So, and, and I stuck by that, man. So I just, it's just a, a deep connection, man. So when I, when I saw you and, and the connection to animals, it was just like... It's entertaining, it's real, from real. The core, you know, yeah, no college right, degree, you know, like, you know what I'm saying? That's no what it wanna, is, yo. That's... I don't like to tell people what to do and how to do it. I just learn and just enjoy my everyday life. Bro, that's it, man. You know, like, I see something happens with my dogs, and it's like, damn, man, I, I want to go study and figure out. Like, I'll call you, I'll call Caesar, I'll call my grandma. You know, mm -hmm. my grandma, like, you know, I look at you and Caesar as. The, the fucking cream of the crop, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah, the, love, the, the fucking if, if the dog community is an alpha pack, y'all two motherfuckers are the alphas. There's no nobody out there love. that can tell anybody, you know what I'm saying? So like, I appreciate you know, that. And, and it's such an honor to be able to pick up the phone and call you, like, yo, I need help, man. Tell me what what I'm doing wrong. I never had fucking 20 dogs, you know what I'm saying? You got 60 of them, so you know <laughs> you've seen it 60, 40, 50, 100, 100 times, you know what I'm saying? So no, I'm blessed, bro. I'm I'm blessed to to, to be able to, to to be there in that situation. I'm, I'm man. honored to be your guys student, man. You know, you know, it's it's to me like I, you know, open openness is, is the key to everything in life. Like just yeah. like you say, I'm always learning, man. I think that's the problem in life with people is is they feel like they get somewhere and they know everything about it. And it's like you know yeah. things are always changing and growing. You gotta watch, you know. That's how I learned about dogs and how. I learned about dogs just by living with them I, you know I didn't nobody really kind of taught me anything it was just 
I used my own head. I washed everything. Trial and error. Saw every exactly, man. You know, you go through shit. I saw everything. Like, you know, I made my own adjustments. I took pieces from people that I thought was useful, and and you know, just like just like uh, you know, the, the Bruce Lee, you take what's necessary, you discard the rest. You, yep. you know what I mean? And 100%. That's, like, that's why. That's like 100%. that's my fucking idol, bro. That's why yep. like, when I said that, when you saw it, I saw you fought. They replied to my comment. I fucking tagged it and like, I posted, just bro. Lost it, right? I was fucking like, fanboy. Bruce I was Lee like, oh my god, yo, fuck <laughs> away. Like, that was Shannon Lee. We love you so oh much. God, and we run love. that page. Oh my your god, father man. left such yeah. a, a mark on earth and people's Dude. soul. I his wouldn't be where I'm at without him. Absolutely like, not. None I, of us I wouldn't man. be where I'm at. His concept on life is my concept with, with, with dog. I'm telling you, bro. I don't. I, I talk to all types of people, and I know you know that he's not alive anymore. I know, but it's just so, it's still, man. To have like just his family just reply to me, I was just like, what? Changed my heck? life, dude. Like yeah, I feel dude. like I could die now. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Like it's like <laughs> it's complete. all good now. Life is yeah. good. You know what I mean? And so. Man, just so much, so much respect for that dude and and and, and what just he the laid honor, out, man. You know, the, the philosophies honor. are incredible. Mm -hmm. Just, man, I learned so much from it. It literally gave me life. It gave me the path in life. His philosophies gave me a path in life, man. Gave me a path to do my own thing, to not be afraid to do my own thing. Yep. And you know, to learn as to I be go. Be yourself. You know what I mean? You know? So, it's a, it's an honor, bro. It's a, fuck, now it was like best moment of my life. I'm yeah. Telling you, bro. I've, I've done a <laughs> like, lot. And I was just like, no way, bro. It was just a hand signal like this. Yeah. I was like, what? Yes. <laughs> you just went super saiyan. Like it's one, yo. You know what I mean? Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Look it all. Let's go. Hey, let's go. Come on. No. Let's go. Come on. Come on. This way. Hey, come on. Let's go. Come on. Come on, kids. Hey, come here. Oh, I got this. My feet? Hey, get over here! Shack in the background. Because mm -hmm. it's my job out here, I guess, right now. Uh -huh. Since they broke through the fence and came in here on their own, yep. always take them the back out there first and yep. then bring them back in here. Because okay. they broke off. Gotcha. You know what I mean? Gotcha. So you, just want, you, want, you don't want to tell them that that was true. Gotcha. It's like a reset. You got to come in the right way. It's always the little things with dogs. The little things. You know what I mean? That's kind of what it is. And you know, just the little details of them, you know? Because they made that decision on their own. That was all. They made the decision to come to the fence on their own. You come through, you get them, you bring them back out. We can, they can fully come in here, but you just have to, he has to bring them in here. Yeah. They can't sneak through there and go out there on their own, and then we all come in there and we're having fun because they made that choice, right? So but he's got it down, man. He's got it down. It's just a small little thing. And that's it. Back I mean, up. You've got peace, you got harmony, you know? And, and, and you got explosive, you know, energy at the same time. To be able to manage this, like it looks a lot easier when you're looking at it, but there's definitely very few people that can have this many dogs around and not have forms of issues, right? Back up, I said stay. Yeah. All right, I said stay, back up. No, go. There you go, perfect. perfect. Oh wow, he's like, dude, this is why I was chilling in the pool. <laughs> I was just kicking it. Yeah, that was a good scent, perfect. That's what I'm talking about. That is what I'm talking about. You guys ready? You coming in, my two little swimmers? My two little swimmers? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Come on. Go on. Go on. Okay. Ready? Who wants this? Who wants this? Who wants this? Go on. He's a shark! It's a bird! It's a plane! It's tricky, man. That's it. That's all she wrote right now. That's it, man. Look, I think it was it was real, it was good for me to just be able to sit back and calm observe for a minute, man. My man's got it under control. He's definitely going in the right direction. Everything gonna be all good, man. You know, like I said, very few people are, are able to, to do to manage something like this. But you see all the other animals this man manages, man, dogs is like you know, the base of it, you know what I mean? That's like the base, it's, you know, like you said, it, the knowledge started with dogs and, and it's cool that it can come back to it. And I'm happy, I'm happy as shit to be a part of the journey. And I'm, you know, I'm blessed to be out here, man. I'm blessed to have friends like this. I'm trying to learn from the guys that do it way longer and way better than I do it, you know what I'm saying? So if I can get my dogs right, I can get my life right. If I get my life right, I can get other people's lives right. Can't pour from an empty cup, you know what I'm saying? That, that. Dogs shaped my life, man. That's what they gave 100%. me. 100%. They changed my life. Much love for me. You already know, man. Yo. All day. Don't bully our breed. 
There's no such thing as a bad dog, only a bad owner. That's a fact, 100%. 100%. Dogs are, burn, dogs are born perfect, yo. Yo. That's it. I'm going to send you guys off with a prayer. Dear God, we thank you so much for all the pooches around the world that are all of our best friends. All of the fallen dogs we had, Lord, we know they're in heaven. We thank you so much for the grace, knowledge, and wisdom that you provide for us, Lord. Thank you for keep us protected, keep our dogs protected, keep us covered, keep us safe. All the dog people, cat people, animal people out there, just bless them, Lord. All of our enemies, bless them too, Lord. Give everybody the tools to keep building their lives up and down as they need to, Lord. Jesus, I pray. Amen. Yo, Marlon and Mike, over and out, baby.